Hey y'all, welcome back to another monthly Costco haul. My family and I go to Costco just once a month because it is a little out of the way. It's actually a pretty far drive. So we're gonna get in there. It looks hella crowded. Let's go see what's in Costco for November. Work it, make it, do it. Makes us honor, better, faster, stronger. Yeah, wait, wait. We at the Costco. So a lot of y'all have been telling me about these silicone baking mats. They are $12.99 for four pieces. Looks really nice. A lot of people rave about them. I might have to pick them up. Waylon, who's that? That's Ho-Ho? Ho-Ho, guys, is $39.99 for an LED Santa. So these six count pathway lights, these are really cool. They're like big light bulbs. They are $29.99. I'm really liking these. I've always wanted something like that to go around for our walkway. Really cool. See, this is the issue. When you bring your kids to Costco, they want all the toys. He wants Spider-Man and Hulk. I mentioned this in my Sam's walkthrough. They also have the Stretch Island. They're $12.99 here at Costco. Get these over the Annie's because the Annie's is just organic sugar upon sugar. This is actually just the fruit. It does have some natural flavorings, but this is a way better option than the Annie's, and the Annie's are only pennies less. Also, when I did my Sam's walkthrough, their roasted peanuts, they're cheaper. So they're $5.49 here at Costco. However, the ones at Sam's, these are just peanuts and salt, which I mentioned in Sam's Club. The ones in Sam's Club have added peanut oil, which I don't know why. Macros are spot on here, so I would pay the extra couple of dollars to get these because they are better for you. So they have these Absorba two-pack blanket sleepers. They're $4 off on an instant savings, so it's $10.99 for a two-pack. So these things are the footed PJs we love, kind of like the Carters. Waylon, you got to get the Annie's. Go get the Annie's. Uh, wait a minute, I guess. <laughs> they do have the gingerbread houses. I don't know how much they are. They're still sealed up, but super cute. So this is new to my Costco, the Nurture Me Ancient Greens Power Blends. It comes with strawberry, banana, mango, guava, and pear spinach. That's a 15 pack for $13.49. However, they also have the Costco brand in this for $10.99. And you get, let's see, 24 with the strawberry, yellow, carrot, apple, mango, yellow, carrot, peach. So this is pretty new to me. Y'all let me know if y'all have these at your Costco. A prime example of something that looks healthy, but it's totally not. So $4.49 for these veggie crisps mixed vegetables the ingredients first ingredient vegetable oil palm oil and there are the macros not good y'all know we usually get this every single time we come they're three dollars off instant savings so it's only $7.49 for the huge two bags of the organic raisins we have a lot left over so even though it's a good deal I think I'm gonna pass they do have their Ziploc bags and you can choose from the gallon freezer quart size freezer or the slider bag mix $10.99 y'all that's an awesome price with the three dollars off instant savings so last time I came to Costco I told you they had the Virgil's 12 cans of the zero root beer and they didn't have a price because they were brand new $8.99 not bad because they're really pricey at Whole Foods so I don't see our regular sparkling ice they have the limited holiday edition however it's on a $2.90 instant savings for eight dollars so I'll try it so bummed because they don't have the yogurt that I usually get Wayland they have this one guys the Chobani but it's got cane sugar in it it's loaded with sugar way more than the other kind that I've been getting them and we got the other kind last time here but they don't have it it's a bummer about Costco this is a killer deal if you like the Activia so it's on a four dollar instant savings so a 24 pack is only $5.99 that's ridiculous however each cup has 12 to 13 grams of sugar which again is more than the kind we've been buying Wayland so even though it's a hot hot deal we're gonna pass. Also, they have the Annie's cinnamon rolls. These are $9.99 for a three pack. I just watched Kim from the Wads video and she well, like stocked up on these because she says how good they are and they're like hella expensive. So if you like these, these are seasonal and they're out right now. On an end cap, I did spot this Chobani Less Sugar and they have the Monterey Strawberry, Vanilla, Blueberry, and Peach. And it's on an instant savings of $2.10. So it's $8.39 for a 12 pack and it's only nine grams of sugar in each cup. That's similar to the one that we've been buying. This is new, spinach and bell pepper egg bite. They're $9.99 and it has all this good stuff, two sugars. However, it is pretty high in carbs, so it is five net carbs per package. That's because of the peppers probably, but it looks pretty yummy. This is also something new, I think. This is the organic chicken breakfast link sausage. These are $13.99 for 32 ounces and really good macros. Not a, a good deal, but if you want a smoked turkey already done, $2.99 a pound, $30. $28 for a smoked turkey to go and right to the side they got your turkey gravy for $6.89. Finally a cheaper of the Costco hauls. 
Still not cheap, but cheaper of the ones we've done. We made it out alive. Let's go home and show you what we picked up. Back home and this Costco haul was $245 before tax, $257 after tax. Tax was $12. Y'all know tax is hella high here. I know it doesn't look like a lot, but $60 of that is vanilla extract and eggs. What is my life? So the eggs, I am pleasantly surprised that these are $6.99. They used to be $7.49. I think they were $6.49 last time I went, so they fluctuate on price. But these are the ones you want to get, the pasture-raised organic eggs, guys. That is the ones. Any Anything that's not pasture raised or organic, you might as well just get the white eggs, the cheap ones, and be done with it. As y'all saw, Waylon was with me, and every time he comes to me with me to Costco, he picks out the Disney organic apples. I will be popping up the prices for everything, guys, but this is a huge thing of apples. This is three pounds of apples. It's a ton, and I know last time we bought them, they lasted a long time, too, without actually, like, spoiling, so it's a good deal. The raspberries were a killer deal, and I've been loving the damn berries, eat the damn berries. Y'all know I'm a big proponent of that. Their blackberries were on an awesome price as well, but their strawberries, y'all, were like $12. It's crazy because we're not in berry season, but these looked so beautiful for the organic. You just couldn't beat it. Something that I love and Trey loves, he keeps coming over here and asking for it, is the Blue Mousse Parmesan Asiago Dip. We put this on broccoli. We also put this on chicken last month, and it was absolutely delicious. I think it's $6.99. It's definitely worth it, and as far as carb count goes, it's two tablespoons for one net carb, I think, but it is so, so good. A staple at Costco is always to get the Kerrygold butter. I think it's like $9.99 or $10.49, and I still have two bars left out of the four that comes in here, but I know with holiday baking, I'm going to need some, so I went ahead and stocked up because we only go once a month. Speaking of only going once a month, I got a sharp cheddar cheese. This is the Kirkland brand, two pounds for $4.99. It is cheaper than Sam's Club if you watch that Sam's Club walkthrough, and I have one of these still from the first month that we went to Costco, and it's still good, but being that the holidays are coming up, I know I'm going to need some extra cheese to make some keto mac and cheese, so I went ahead and opted for that while I was there. Also, the Teton Polish sausages. Y'all know I'm I'm obsessed with these and this is the only flavor they had again I know a lot of y'all are saying that this is a seasonal thing I'm not sure but they always have them at my Costco and they are by the other sausages and by the pulled pork and stuff in the cold section at my Costco if you're wondering speaking of pulled pork we did opt for the smoked pulled pork again this is like ten dollars I love this this thing is so huge it is two pounds but if y'all watch some of my earlier prep with me's I made a million different meals with this and I plan on doing that this month as well, copycatting what I did back in like August because it makes, like I said, a million meals and it's delicious. I got the Cello Variety Pack. Y'all know I haul this lots of times. We ate, what are those, those other little packaged ones, but they were um, not on a rollback sale or whatever it's called on Instant Savings. So I went ahead and got this because it's $9.99. This is basically for the hubs. He loves snacking on cheese. Oh, they had my bacon. So I did not see this. I had the microwavable kind in in my card as first and I was disappointed because that's what I got last time and I like it it's convenient but this is just so much better this was on an end cap I don't know if they always have this but this is the Kirkland thick slice bacon center cut hickory smoked but you get two in here I absolutely love this and when you cook it in the air fryer it releases all that bacon grease and I save that to cook eggs and stuff absolutely I'm obsessed with this and I was like super happy and did like a little happy dance when I saw it on the end cap the organic whole broccoli florets you get four individual microwave wave ready bags in here. This is a great deal. Trey is now loving him some broccoli something fierce with that blue mousse dip. So I went ahead and got this for dinners and to just give him for a dinner one night himself with some of that cheese dip. That's a really good option for him and he loves it. I went ahead and got the Chobani less sugar Greek yogurt. I showed y'all in store because it was the only one that was in the range of the sugar content that we've been getting with the light and fit is the one that we got before and that we got it from Costco, but they didn't have it. Sometimes you go to Costco and they have things. It's seasonal. They get rid. They come back. It's craziness, but I'm hoping and Waylon likes these. It's strawberry, vanilla, cinnamon, blueberry, peach. These were on an instant saving, so it wasn't bad for 12 of them. I think I have like five or six cups from the last haul of the Light and Fit, so that should last us for the month. Y'all, it took everything in me to buy this. 30 freaking dollars for pure vanilla extract. 
I bought one like this at Sam's Club almost a year ago. I just now ran out of it and it was smaller than this. So this is going to last me forever. But this month I'm going to be doing a ton of keto baking with Thanksgiving and then Christmas coming up. So I went ahead and got it because I'm completely out. I think it's only like a dollar or something per ounce. And if y'all buy one or two ounces at Walmart, y'all know it's like $6. So this is definitely a good deal. It's a lot out of pocket originally, but it's worth it. And as far as the ingredients go, it is just vanilla bean extract and water and alcohol. Mm, but yeah, $29 for that. It pained me. I got the hoodies, dry roasted peanuts. These are the ones that are just peanuts and sea salt for the hubs. He loves snacking on cheese and peanuts are his jam because he's not necessarily keto. He's low carb. He loves these. And I did not pick them up at Sam's because they had the added peanut oil. I knew Costco was a better version. I'm almost out of my Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning. And y'all been telling me that this tastes exactly like it. And this was a pretty good deal. I'm hoping it's good. And the ingredients are right here. Sesame seeds, salt, garlic, onion, sesame seeds, and poppy seeds. I'm pretty sure that's what the Trader Joe's ones is. Y'all know I had to get my almond flour. This is every haul. This is three pounds and it is cheaper than the Blue Diamond at Sam's Club. And I have a ton of this left over, but again, I didn't need so many things, but I know I needed to have it before I went back in December for my next Costco haul because of all the baking we're gonna be doing for the holidays. So I went ahead and got it. You know, we use it all the time anyway, so it's not like it's going to waste. They still did not have the Siete chips, what is my life, but they had these and Trey really enjoyed them last time. The ingredients are decent, organic tortilla chips, and the price is good and you get two pounds, it's a ton. My boys are obsessed with these Annie's Bunny snacks and this is the 36 pack of the Bunny Grams and the Cheddar Bunnies. I would rather than be all the cheddar bunnies versus the grams because the sugar content, it's not horrible, but I'd rather that instead. However, they don't eat these on a daily basis. This lasts for a month, 36 packs. That's good for lunch boxes and then afternoons treats versus some things that they used to eat back in the day. So pick your battles, y'all. I did get the footy PJs. Oh my gosh, these were so freaking cute, y'all. And this, it looks just like Carter's, doesn't it? But it's this Absorba brand. And I got the 5T because we just tried one on Wayland that was like a hand-me-down from Trey and it fit perfectly because he's so freaking tall. He's kind of big width wise, but we got the truck win because they had the dinosaur win and it did not have his size, but they even had some in like Trey size, but I know he hates footed PJs and it's super hot. So I did not get them for him, but Waylon absolutely loves these. I did pick up the Ziplocs and I got the court and there's four 54 count boxes in here. That's an amazing deal. I think it was like 10 bucks. You cannot beat that for the Ziploc brand. I really appreciate that Costco did the instant savings with the freezer bags in the individual sizes. Last month, it was like the variety bag or variety box, and it was not a lot of freezer bags. It was just like storage, and I'm more about the freezer bags when it comes to Ziploc, and I'll use the cheapo ones when it comes to like lunchbox stuff and all. So I like the quart size better for ground meat and stuff. It's perfect for our family size. So I went ahead and got this one. Really happy to see that. That was an awesome score. I opted for the Kirkland Organic Applesauce for Waylon. He asked for applesauce and I asked him which one he wanted and this is the one he picked out. 24 pouches in here. Y'all know the ingredients are good. I've showed you before. They had those new ones though, so it was pretty cool, but I was kind of scared to branch out and buy those without testing them. You can bring stuff back to Costco if they don't like it, which is nice and you get your money back in full, which is amazing with Costco versus Sam's Club, but the, I know he likes these because we bought them before. Then got the Pirate booty versus the skinny pop because we have a ton of the individual bags still from Costco and half of a big size bag. So we're good on popcorn. But Trey has been loving the Pirates booty. We still have the individual bags we bought last month on the instant savings. And instead of buying the little bags, I opted for the big bag just to put in his lunchbox every once in a while when we run out of the little bags. And this was a pretty decent price. It is gluten free, no artificial junk, and the sugar content is super low. Carb count's pretty low as well. So I'm happy that he's liking that because that's another good snacky snack option for him. And then y'all know mama can't go to Costco without getting her treat, and that's the 4505 pork rinds. This is the classic chili and salt. They are so good. They are not spicy at all. Y'all ask me that all the time. They're not spicy. They actually are kind of sweet in my opinion, which I really appreciate. And I just now finished my bag from last month. So they last me the whole month because I don't eat this on a daily, but it is a nice treat for me. Y'all, I totally forgot these in the car and did not show these in the haul. So this is part of the haul as well. I was like, I know we're forgetting something. So you get 18 in here. This is the limited time only. That's the only ones they had at my store. Ginger, lime, cranberry frost is probably what I'm going to like. And lemon 
lime and so that's my costco haul this month y'all give it a huge thumbs up if you look forward to these monthly costco hauls from me and if you're not subscribed and you want to see more costco hauls sam's club stuff as well if you have a sam's club closer than costco make sure to smash that subscribe button down below and make sure that bell is clicked i'm seeing that a lot of y'all's notification bell is not clicked and that's why you're not seeing videos from me pop up so make sure that notification bell is clicked y'all let me know what you found at costco this month for november anything seasonal anything i need to be on the lookout for december i would love to know down below because it's so crazy how all of our costcos are different so help a girl out in knowing what she needs to be on the hunt for as far as seasonal stuff for Christmas coming up. I have a feeling that December's haul is going to be massive, y'all. It's going to be huge because we're going to run out of everything at the same time. I did not buy things that I still have some left of just because I didn't want to spend the money, but I think December is going to be cray. So y'all stay tuned. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have an amazing day and I'll see y'all in the next video.